My name is Calvin Acquire. I'm a junior at Sydney on a Hill, New Bedford. What were you like when you first started at Coba? A month being there, I left and then I went to Bedford High and then I just kind of followed the wrong crowd there, messed up. So then I know I just came back here, Sydney on Hill, because I felt Sydney on Hill was the place for me. <laughs> then Mr. Minka, he's my math teacher and like I struggle in math a lot. So like if he sees me down, like he won't like let me fail. Like he'll pick me up and everything like that. And, like you're gonna stay here and you're gonna keep doing your work until you pass. Like that's how much they care about you. So I feel like the teachers care about you a lot. I feel like I'd be in a lot worse position if I didn't come back here. <laughs> My name's Trinae and I'm a senior at Coa Delhi Square. When I first started at Coa I was always in Dean's office. Dean's would say that was my second home. I didn't do homework. I made excuses as to why I didn't do my homework. My work ethic was horrible. <laughs> I came in with that attitude because I came from a school with teachers that didn't really care about me, you know? They, they, didn't, they didn't have that push, you know, that this school has. And it just really sucks to know someone's giving up on you, someone doesn't care about your education. Coming here, it just, it's completely night and day. They, they care about you, they care about your success, and they, they create this work ethic that doesn't leave you. When I got into college, oh man. When I got into college, it was, my parents, they was really happy, and I was extremely happy too, because freshman year, Trine would not have thought that she was gonna get into any college, not with her grades, no. But it, now that, knowing that I got into college, it feels really good. I will always appreciate Sierra and Hill for the way they care about their students, or the way that they, they strive for their students. You don't have many teachers that stay after school till 4.30, 5.30 every day, because they care. So what I love about Sealand and Hill is that they turn the most disruptive student into an amazing scholar. They don't give up on their students, and I feel as though I will always appreciate them. My name is Rufni. I am a senior at Sydney on the Hill Circuit Street. My parents and I moved to the United States on October 19, 2000, and we moved to the United States so that I could have a better education. When I came to City on the Hill, it was better because I found many teachers that actually helped me with the difficulty that I had, and even if I had a learning disability, they did not ostracize me on things that I found difficult. The teachers helped me. I usually stayed after school with them, and like I worked harder every day and they never gave up on me even if I felt like giving up. City on the Hill helped me realize even if you have a learning disability, education is still key and that they're gonna always find a way for you to learn something. I was so happy when I got my first college acceptance. Um, I cried and um, like it was a really important moment in my life when I got it. Hi, my name is Jada and I'm a senior at City on a Hill Circuit Street. So I originally wanted to come to City on a Hill because of my aunt. I would always remember her having these little certificates and I always said, okay, I want one of, like, one of those. Freshman Academy was when I thought, this is for me. And everything was so structured and orderly. Like most people were complaining like, oh, it's strict, but like it was so different in a good way because I'm not used to all of that. I wasn't used to that structure. My junior year, I got mixed with the wrong crowd. So then I eventually ran away because my grades were decreasing. Everything was just going wrong for me that year. When I ran away, what touched me was like my coach. She called me. Like, she was like, you have so much ahead of you. You need to come back. You need to finish school. Every teacher was like, Jada, are you okay? Jada, what happened? Like, how can I assist you? And I was just like, wow, these people really love me. And the first day when I got back, Miss Barry had me in her office and she said, Jada, City on the Hill needs you more than you need them because you're one of our leaders. And that touched my heart and that made me think I have to finish and I'm never leaving again until <laughs> I'm supposed to. So when I got accepted into my first college, which was St. Michael's College, I cried. I honestly didn't think I could. Before, it was it was like rocky, but now I feel like I know I'm going to come. 